ladies and gentlemen, which is from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another amazing Element 3D Season 2 tutorial. In this video, we are trying to create a complete space scene inside of After Effects with the help of Element 3. So without wasting any more further time, let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in After Effects and I have a few comps here. This is number one, two and three. So if you notice, this is the most massive comp here. So if you're moving forward, you can see there are too many particles, space scenes and all. So let me show you that how it's worked. So just go to this camera from active camera, make it to custom view. Now you can exactly see this is a big space scene. I added to planets and too much particles here and then the camera motions, animations, some background color corrections, some optical flares and all. So this is it and uh, if you go to this many layers, this is a basic simple comp but the process which I have using that is a massive. If you go to the next comp here, if you notice this is, looks a very small but when you go from active camera to a custom view you can exactly see there's too many particles are here. If you go to this main element 3D layer you can exactly see the particle counts are 8 thousand and I make it like in ring mode so that it's exactly looks like a normal space scene and we're going to go to the, the first one the main scene was very very easy this was a very easy comp see I have only one planet and few particles here so let's create a new complete comp scene here so first of all uh, just click here for the new comp and name it like a tutorial and make it to 1280 by 720p and simply press ok okay then right click new and then solid and make color should be black and name it to e3d and press ok okay after that we have to apply element 3d from video copilot element and here it is and now we have to go inside of this scene setup inside of scene setup first of all what you have to do just turn off this add to group one and then you have to go to this starter pack physical where you can find these many rock assets here. So just click one, two and three. But if you want, you can add so many other rocks. You can download and import it from here as well. Now to make it looks more crisp and more sharp, just go to this one UV mapping and UV repeat to two by two. So now it's become some crisp and more clear. Make the same thing for this one also two by two and this one also for two by two. Okay, so this is it and now press OK. Okay, so now we are taking a new camera, just new and then camera, make it to 35 millimeter and just simply press OK. So this is a basic camera view. So now we have to go to this two horizontal mode and where you can find in this option, this is our normal custom view where you can move the camera anywhere in any directions and this is our active camera mode okay so if you move here the see the main camera is exactly moving okay so now go to this element 3d first of all you have to do some render settings here so go down here go to physical environment and this light influence just make it to 100 percent so it's look something here okay so now after that go to this camera cutoff and just simply add a zero here to make it more bigger so the entire output will be covered inside of the camera view Okay, so now you have to go to this group one and from particle replicator from point, let's change it to 3D grid. So this is three by three by three. So the third one, let's make it to 20. So it looks here, something like that. Zoom it a bit. Okay, now from the shape scale, increase it to, let's take around 128. And it's like this. And okay, this looks amazing. And now from the Z scale, increase it to something like Let's make it to seven. Okay, so this is it. So this looks amazing, right? Now we have to make some scatters here. So first of all, go to this particle look here where you can find this particle size and particle size randomizations. So just go to this randomizations, make it to 40%. So now what happens if we move closer, few options are like smaller and few are a little bit bigger. Okay, let's increase the particle size a bit. It's very big. Okay, now go to this replicator effect from the scatter one. Just increase the scatter value to let's take around 55%. So now it's getting some scattered here. If you want to scatter it more, just scatter it something like this okay if you want to make scatter in different different directions you can exactly do it by using this way so let's make it something here yep that's it now decrease the z scale value to let's take around five 
to make a little bit of dense here because otherwise all the particles are exactly from very far from each other okay so now we have to give some rotations here so go to this particle uh, rotation and from here we notice there's a particle randomized rotation so just make it to six here so all the particles are rotated in different different directions here so first let's animate a bit here just click here and go to this last frame this is a 10 seconds comp just rotate it a bit so when you play here it looks rotating a bit see you can exactly see the rotations here it looks very small because inside of space everything is moving very very slow okay so if you can increase it like 40% uh, yep this is good okay so the rotations are looks like this that's it now if you want to make some scatter a bit so just click here scatter and just go here and make it to 65% so that when it's moving it's already rotating and also doing some scattering and one okay that's it now we are doing some camera animation set so from here just make it to one view now we are actually just make this complete scene out and yeah this is our basic comp scene and something like that yep this is it okay so now you have to make some good camera animations so just click here camera press p shift a and shift r to make all the positions rotations and orientations here just click all the assets here on and click on this axis and move it a bit inside very bit so like okay just play here it looks like this okay so now from this area let's make a bit of rotations here on like this direction or this direction let's make it to this direction and just simply press it here so now when it come here it looks like press zero and it's get back to normal so now it looks something like this on these directions to these directions okay so the basic camera animations are done if you want to increase the particles a more a bit and many more other assets you can exactly do it it's completely up to you okay so now we are adding uh, like background here so first of all go again to a two view like a custom normal view and just make it something like this and now we have a 8k scar style system here so just select drag and drop behind of this element 3d layer so that you can see the all the particles are looks visible here just make it to like this and just select the camera and you can exactly find this is looks amazing and now just make it to a 3d layer so that you can exactly see how it's look like and from p move it in z axis a very far something like that so that when your camera will move it looks like some perspective movement here okay so now just increase the scale value of this just press s and increase the scale value so after that inside of this is our final comp this is not our final comp this is our custom view so whenever you are watching you should watch on this particular area okay so just move the camera here and it looks wow it's already feel like we are already inside of a space scene isn't it okay so now we are adding another one so this is our a galaxy here so just drag and drop the galaxy under this element 3d layer make it to solo and now we are adding some mask here so just increase from like one view fit to screen and just select a mask and just i'm doing a normal rough mask you can take your own time and make it to more sharp and crisp and all and after that press double m here and then increase the mask feather a bit something like that that's it now just turn off the solo one and make it to 3d as well it's already gone backside from here to make it to mode and select the camera and now if you notice this is under here okay so you have to move push it back on the z space press p and move it on the z space make sure it should be after that okay so just make it to here and now we are making the scale it up something like that okay this looks like this okay okay now turn off this one so that you can exactly see how the outputs are uh, look like now make it from like one view okay so this is our basic space scene is right now done but we have to create some lighting corrections and all we have to do a light setup so for that right click new a light here so let's make color a little bit of white and then just press okay intensity to let's take around 250 and press okay now select these two layers and press double A and then just turn off this accept light just turn it off so that you can exactly see light and also these layers just select the parallel light go again to horizontal view and you can see the light is exactly here so you have to move the light positions from these directions so just select the parallel light press P here and you can exactly start moving the light positions here 
and this is very easy like normal light positioning and move it in Z axis a bit here, something like that now select and control D to duplicate it and double click and change the color to a little bit of blue press OK double click in density to like 150 and now we are pushing it back on minus not like plus Z axis to make this area a bit brighter something like that and just make it to down a bit and also in X axis a bit here that's it just make it to here yeah. it's completely up to you now decrease the intensity to let's take around 15 so that you can exactly see the highlighted positions here and just bit of here done okay so now play this it looks like this okay so now you have to add our too many other particles here now i have some this kind of nebulas here you can notice this i like nebulas all links are in description box below you can go and download these nebulas so just select the nebula from here and just drop it here and make it to uh, like as usual 3d layer and just from here from normal to make it to screen and then press double a and turn off the accept light and simply scale it a bit something like that and press p for the positions and just move the positions on the z axis from custom view you can exactly see where it is exactly right now so it's very far from the camera so just move it a bit here and it's still far very so just move it a bit here okay that's it and you can exactly place anywhere which you want to place it so i'm just want to place it to here make the scale value a bit like from 500 to make it to bigger something like that and now we are adding these three under this element 3d layers okay that's it so this is completely back of element 3d layer and make sure this should come up like this because this is already very far and now we're taking a hue and saturations hue and saturations drag and drop on this one and let's change the colors to like simply match these colors with this background one and all and same thing we have just copying it control C and apply it on this one and change the colors to let's take around yup this is this is completely okay so this is completely look like this just make it here now when you play this it looks wow it's already start feeling some space but it still looks very fake why I'll show you because we don't have any main light source here so just for the light source right click new and solid and let's make it to Sun and just simply press OK right click video copilot and then we are adding optical flares here so these are basic optical flares which is looks like this go to those options inside of this option box you can find these many already pre-installed presets here from preset browser you can find these many light setups and all so i'm taking this evening sun here from this one and then just simply place ok and now from on black to make it to transparent now the sun is exactly visible here let's change it from 2d to 3d now it's going very far here so just decrease the brightness to let's take around 50 percent and increase the scale to a bit higher and now increase the brightness also a bit very bit not too much okay that's it and now change the positions here from z axis something bit here and now the x and y positions so i'm making the light outside of the window so that the light positions are lights coming in from this directions so that the light should be on this particular area okay so just make it to here and increase the scale something like bigger like 177 percent and increase the brightness a bit like this and now we are changing the optical flares lights positions brightness okay this is very far just one like this and make it two okay this is fine now i'm changing the color tint here so when i'm changing the color tint let's change to match the color tint with this complete scene just have to change the tint color to let's take around this one it looks so natural okay so now what are we adding we are just right click new and then uh, adjustment layer and then I'm just taking a shine which is coming from trap code just drag and drop here now this is looks a very shiny here and you can change it from anything like multiply and all let's change the boost light one to two so the lights are start boosting here this is a source point you can exactly change the source point from this sun part and all because the shines part should be coming from sun directions but in this case I'm making it from here yeah this is it fine let's change the boost one to one 
and the source opacity colorize you can exactly change all the colors you can find this many assets pre-installed so you can change it to magic it looks like this change it to mars you can make it to fire and all you can also like ir versions this looks like a uh, solar kind of thing it's exactly looks so real but i'm changing it to let's take around rgb or let's make it to fire but you can exactly change the colors anything which you really want to change like i'm making it to little bit of uh, yellow and yes this is fine so now when the camera will you move inside the rays are looks super realistic okay so just right click and then effects go to color corrections and curves and just increase the background one a bit higher and just increase the size also a bit and change the positions to let's make it to here yep yeah, that's it now let's check yes this looks amazing now if you want to add some planets here go to the simply element 3d layer and make a planet and place it anywhere in the scene i'm not showing you in this particular scene here because it's very normal to show you now what you have to do go to select the element 3d go down and here you can find this render settings and just just simply go to ambient occlusion turn it on increase it a bit here and then you can find the fog here just turn it on and increase the fog opacity like this 80 percent start making the fog distance make sure this area should be a little bit of darker so increase the fog color to be it off like this and that's it it's completely fine and the fogs are looks amazing now go select the camera and make sure you have to add a depth of field just turn it on depth of field is here and you just check the depth of field where it's exactly fit with the scene not much and not less so after applying the color corrections just last but not the least add a basic cinemascopic effect and then just fit to screen so this is our main black screen just increase it a bit here to make it fit like this and that's it and then just simply press play <laughs> If you really love our this video, then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and also follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. All links are in the description box below. Go and check it out. I will see you in the next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, keep rocking, keep watching VFX World.